who chair this uh, cinema and audiovisual culture section. Uh, and uh, we start with the presentation of uh, uh, Professor Malicheska. Uh, uh, we'll reveal the challenge of you know, Theodor Sushas animated films transforming the old avant garde. Uh, I have to warn you that the first two presentations uh, are some uh, Bulgarian reflections on uh, our connections and relations to Hollywood. Uh, please, President Malicheska. Over the past 20 years, the World Animation Film Festivals both showing and that in competition programs so-called avant-garde films. However, quite a, quite a lot of these films can hardly be called vanguard because uh, a considerable amount of them just copy styles uh, created decades ago and their artistic energy is washed out. Uh, often contempor contemporary authors more visual and stylistic concepts of the European avant-garde of the 20s. The films of Hans Richter, Walter shapes dancing on screen or the radical neglect to the linear narrative even then in the 20s were perceived by the general public uh, as an extreme elitist experiment or even as a mindless or antisocial formalistic exercise the spots triangles and geometric lines in a whirlwind dance, however, create original and completely new context, which is called to differentiate cinema from all traces of theatrical heritage. Um, European avant-garde is not one of the most significant pheno uh, phenomena in the history of cinema, only by itself. But um, because of the well-achieved visual, visual music or the numerous manifestos proclaiming the ideas of the authors, in the history of animation, creators who have contributed substantially to the achievements of film avant-garde of the 20s can be counted on fingers. Without doubt, the most prominent of them is Norman McLaren. But what is happening now? Uh, almost one century um, after already canonized achievements of the avant-garde animation. Renowned uh, festivals select uh, an award film, um, select an award films that almost literally copy the early abstract works of the avant-garde authors. For example, this is um, uh, Hans Richter's Rhythmus 21, and this is Mirai Mizue, Modern Number no. 2, uh, which was made several years ago. And, um, uh, well, we have uh, some rhythmical uh, movements on the screen, but there is nothing wrong if uh, this, the latter one, uh, was a student's exercise. But the film, um, this is a film with ambition for honors, and uh, this causes only embarrassment. Uh, no mention, um, not to mention that the film was created in the digital age, uh, when animated, uh, animating uh, simple 
didn't uh, rectangular figures is a matter of minimal effort. The next example is uh, a parallel between the film uh, of Viking uh, Egeling film, uh, Symphony de Godin, uh, from 24th, and uh, Dennis Miller's uh, Ammonite. And I would like to uh, just to quote here uh, a comment by um, a spectator. He says, um, these films look like TV conversation between extraterrestrial civilization, civilizations, but no matter how carefully I stare, I can't extract any meaning out of them. Uh, so, um, this is um, uh, somewhere the balance um, in animation uh, has been uh, violated somewhere in the in contemporary art uh, in favor of pseudo um, avant garde films, which uh, usually show no innovative ideas. Of course, unfortunately, there are some positive examples, and one of these uh, exceptions is the work of the uh, Bulgarian director Theodor Ushev, who is uh, working in Canada and uh, who is focused on modern styles and avant-garde styles, but um, his, uh, he alters his aesthetic with every new project. Um, whether rotoscoping, hybridizing cubism or uh, constructivism or dabbing in abstract uh, expressionism, the all you always know it is an Ushev um, film because of its uh, content, content and craftsmanship. His film Tower Bauer is an illusion, uh, allusion to the famous project of Tatlin, Tatlin's uh, Tower uh, of the um, 1919. Here is the uh, model of Tatlin's tower, uh, and uh, he um, uh, made his uh, tower bower, combining modernist vision with the music of uh, Georgi Sviridov. His uh, suite Time for War was written in 65 and is dedicated to the construction of the Magnitogorsk metallurgical plant. But uh, this is um, not so important, the suite became popular as a musical emblem of the program Vrenya. This is official news on Russian TV in, in the times of Brezhnev. Uh, in the film, Usher uh, has mixed three time layers. Uh, first, the times of Russian modernism. Um, the... Oh. Uh, I shall just um, uh, put an excerpt. Um, three layers of times, the times of uh, Russian mother. Um, 
which have made uh, many, very few, uh, many other films uh, after um, uh, this avant-garde uh, stylistics, The Man Who Waited, it is after Franz Kafka's uh, short story, Druk Flux, Nightingales in September, in another style, as you see. Um, in December, yes, um, Gloria Victoria, etc. Uh, even his experience in the music video, uh, Demony, is an extravagant technical experiment with painting on over vinyl plates. It is a very special technique. Nevertheless, Lipset Diaries is uh, one of the finest examples of how to make a truly neo-avant-garde film on the um, uh, life of the first postmodernist, as Ushev himself says, Arthur Lipset. Uh, the film is uh, an animated biography of uh, Arthur Lipset, who has developed important trends in experimental um, film, collage, and especially uh, expressive combination of vision and self. His film, uh, um, very nice, very nice, won an Oscar nomination. Uh, in the years when the Academy did not uh, at all tolerate independent representatives of uh, experimental cinema, it was uh, 1962. Uh, the film, uh, Ushev's film, is uh, bi biographical, but in a great extent it is Lipset's uh, psychoanalytical portrait as well as a historical and artistic analysis of uh, the college, uh, collage films uh, of Lipset. And um, it is important to note that uh, although called uh, Lipset's diaries, in fact Lipset didn't uh, uh, leave uh, any diaries, no diaries were there, uh, and this is a frank mystification of somehow, but they um, uh, put a, a title on the DVDs that uh, there are no diaries. Uh, the screen representation of the filmmaker who committed suicide two weeks before his 50th birthday in 1986, suffering from paranoia, is carried out through Ushev's free artistic drawing and is particularly expressive. Lipsodaris. Mm, um, is a film where all the specific features of the animation documentary hybrid are collected. First, authenticity and materiality um, of portrait, you see. Uh, regardless, the usage of another, not photographical media. In this case, almost monochrome painting. Second, um, this is uh, the address to socially important topic. Third, it is a psychoanalytical aspect in the examination of a bi biography. Fourth, it is the masterful analysis of the significance of the lips at work, in particular uh, interpretation of uh, Ushev, who follows the structure of very nice, very nice, the Oscar-nominated film, um, and um, transmits really the frenetic pace of the original, haunting photographic lipset motifs, a mirror, a takeoff rocket, a crowd especially obsessed with the passion and hysteria, hysteria crowd, an atomic mushroom, the filet of some 50s and 60s beauties in swimmers. These are all motifs um, uh, from the lips uh, from the Lipset films, and they are interpreted in uh, Ushev's uh, animation. Um, fifth, ethical problems associated with trauma, personal loss, mental illness, uh, illness uh, obsessive suicide, suicidal thoughts. Um, namely because they are recreated through a different media, the painting, and this all generalizes the reflection on the faith of, the, of a hypersensitive person. Now I shall uh, again 
Wow. I don't know. Ah. <sighs> Oh, where it is, baby. Mm. <coughs> <Alex. coughs> just, just, just jumping from. He was hardly REM. I think he stayed away to avoid this dark uh, woman he married. Different. Uh, Gloria Victoria is um, the next uh, film uh, of um, Theodor uh, Ushev uh, and um, it was shortly listed um, for the um, Academy nominations of animated films in um, 2014 and um, it is again on music, it is the uh, Leningrad Symphony of uh, Shostakovich and uh, it increases its emotional intensity through various modernist styles from German uh, Expressionism through Cubist and suprematic, suprematic forms uh, to the avant-garde British uh, vorticism uh, of the early 20th century. Um, meanwhile, uh, Theodor Ushev uh, himself says that uh, the urge to create the film comes from Francis Fukuyama's book, The End of History and the Last Man. Um, well, he thinks that um, the, the film is against the war and hatred against conflicts and destruction, which mankind can uh, resist only through art. Uh, it sends tremendous artistic energy, organized in precise staccato rhythms, predictive, uh, the, um, um, who predict the collapse of civilization based on the quest for su supremacy. He jumps, the, the language of the film uh, jumps from the abstract into the tangible, from color contrasts to um, black and white images, from the detailed uh, expression to clear graphics and so on. And in this sense, the film builds dynamics, um, dynamic but uh, unconventional narrative, uh, which impacts directly the senses with its high boiling point. Uh, this, is, um, this is a comparison between uh, images. The, the left one is Kete Kolditz, um, her um, uh, works in the 20s and the, on the right is uh, Theodor Kuchev's uh, uh, image from the film. That is uh, one more, once more we can see that um, he's very, very interested in avant-garde um, image. Sonambul is a um, quite interesting surrealistic journey through colors and shapes inspired by the poem uh, Romance Sonambul by Federico Garcia Lorca. Visual poetry in the rhythm of fantastic dreams and passionate nights. 
Uh, who should do heavily upon um, Juan Miro, another Spanish artist, for his signature uh, biomorphic forms, uh, geometric shapes, and semi abstracted objects using um, a similar color palette? He just uh, juxtaposes surrealist, uh, surrealistic shapes with the simple, more recognizable ones, uh, like chickens and so on. Um, at the end of the film, you can even uh, find there Picasso's um, and, well, like quotations um, from uh, different um, quotations from uh, Pablo Picasso, Alexander Calder, Vasily Kandinsky, and so on. And